Hey guys, how's it going? I hope you guys are doing amazing. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys my top 5 fonts in Photopea. You don't have to install anything, they're all in Photopea. So these are my favorite ones, so let's get started. So at number one, we have Furor. I'm not really sure how to say that. I really like this one. It's like It has like a futuristic vibe to it, but I feel like there's a lot of ways you can use this font, and it's one of my favorites. The next font is Duplexide, I think. That's how you say it. This one has a very interesting vibe as well. It also kind of has a futuristic one, but with um, these little edges it kind of gives it a different vibe but this one's pretty cool too here's what it looks like with my name now there aren't as many ways you can use this as the last one but i still think you can find a use for it it looks pretty cool so let's move on to number three so for number three it's going to be edo or edo not really sure this one has a pretty cool vibe as well it kind of has like a a brush stroke look or just it looks kind of gritty not gritty I don't really know just grungy I guess that's the right word uh, this was pretty nice too I used to use this back in the day but I haven't recently I'm going with a cleaner look but this one definitely works for a lot of things as well so I definitely recommend it for number four I did Vega and this one looks really clean I I just found this one today actually but I really like the look of it it has a minimalist look as well as a sort of futuristic look too. I like the rounded edges around it, like around the B. It looks really clean, so I'm definitely going to be using this one more. So definitely check this one out. Now the last one I have done in tutorials before this, it is Commando. So Commando looks really futuristic. I like that aspect of it. It looks pretty clean as well, and there's a lot of uses. It's it's thick text, which is good when making thumbnails because you're able to read it a lot better than thin text. So that's why I chose this one to be in my list. Obviously, there's more fonts that are out there that might be better than this, but this is for Photop only. So if you guys want me to make another video of fonts outside of Photop that you can download from websites like Defont. Um, let me know in the comments below and I will make that video. I'll show the fonts I use in my thumbnails and more. So I hope this helps you guys get an idea of what you might want to use in the future. Leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.